Welcome to another episode of Heart to Heart Talks, and I'm your host Ian Chong.、Uh, for today's episode, I will be sharing a little bit more of how we, me and my wife, actually craft a love story. And today, I'm just gonna pick one example of one of the wedding films we have filmed、uh, months ago.、Uh, I think it was in November. We actually went into Instagram and actually asked you guys whether you guys are interested in knowing how we craft. Our、uh, our couple's love story, and I think quite a bit of people actually said yes. They want to find out a little bit more, introduce the process, and how we actually uh, craft uh, meaningful stories. As we, as you know, our tagline is always "Every story worth telling," right? So, I wanted to just kind of like、uh, introduce this whole process. Having this opportunity to actually cover that is really meaningful to us, and I believe all creators or、uh, wedding、uh, videographers and photogra- photographers is not there just to、um, take you know nice posy videos or photos, but really is to document and for you guys to watch like ten, twenty years down the road, which is what we always tell our couples because that is what our our、uh, initial you know when we are creating heart to heart is all about. Okay, so we actually pick up this film. It's Elma Salvin's、uh, full highlight film. I'll just kind of walk through exactly、uh, how we actually cr- form this part. It's like basically going to a wedding and shoot. It's just like puzzle pieces. So you have all these puzzle pieces that is on the wedding day itself. And I always tell my couples, weddings is like fireworks. It's always like blasting in a. 360 kind of degrees kind of way where everything is happening at the same time, and it's our job to shortlist or even capture as much as we can. So when we are actually fixing the puzzle together, which takes time, it's not just stitching together, but picking out shots that can represent the story and that could bring the story forward, rather than just being cinematic. So cinematic is also something that I feel that's a little bit misrepresented. You know, looking good is always what we always do, but telling a good story is what we do best. So I felt that I need to re- clarify this part. You know, so I will press play now. My dearest Alma, you give me strength when I was at the lowest point in my life. You give me hope whenever I feel all is lost. You have the ability to see the best in people, and you light up every situation in life. You never judge me, but always try to understand things from my perspective. You are my rock and the love of my life. I promise to love all your lost honors and provide a listening ear to you every time you need me to, just like how you listen to me grumble every day. My dearest Elvin, you are incredibly thoughtful, reliable, and strong. And although you deny it, you're also super kind and generous, and have the biggest heart. You inspire me to be a better person, and I'm absolutely in awe of you. I promise to watch my temper and my words, unless if I meet stupid drivers on the road or the waitress gets my orders wrong three times. I promise to always be on your side, whatever the reason, because we are always a team, even if that means choosing basins over and over again. I vow to love you in sickness and in health, in happiness and sorrow, through thick or thin, fat or skinny, while irritating you with a shoppy song now and then. Okay, at this point of time, if you notice, if you keep watching our film, you notice that there's always a narrative, and I always push my couples to. Uh, push for their own personal vows rather than a standard vow,、um, because the narratives is make what the the to determine how the story is is gonna flow. Because everybody's vow is very different, everybody's personal vow is really really different, and that really determines how unique your your story is. And I always tell my couples to dig deep in terms of how you want to write the vow. Uh, say something that has meaning to it. Of course,、um, I don't stress that you must have your own personal vow.、Uh, we do shoot couples that don't even have their own vows and just want to kind of go with the flow.、Uh, but of course, there are other things like you know capturing ca- capturing the moment,、uh, documentary style filming.、Uh, but for Elmas Elvin's case,、uh, 
um, it was a little bit of documentary, a little bit more of uh, having their own vows as a narrative to guide the story. So I wanted to start this narrative flowing using the vow to anchor their vows first. And of course, using some of the funny bites, uh, vows, you don't have to be too serious. Uh, you have the serious moments and of course when the vow has some funny elements that will actually make your your story much more interesting because it's like a twist of emotions. It was romantic. Then towards the end, I think Elvin was saying about uh, having the sh- Shopee sh- song. Having the... Sh- ah, it's so hard to say. Having the Shopee song over and over again. I think that triggered that emotion of laughter and I think that really make a good start impression of the film. Okay, so go, pa- go to the next part. Hearing forward motion, talking it over. Standing on two feet again. In a fallen world here, starting. So at this point in time, I wanted to just kind of introduce the characters. Uh, of course, the bride and groom is definitely the key character of the film. Moving forward, I actually in- introduced a little bit of the parents, a little bit of the bridesmaid, groomsmen. Um, in a film, I try to introduce characters first. Uh, it really depends case by case, but in their case, I wanted to just kind of introduce uh, the, the, the friends and family around first like who are the key players in the in the story and after that we'll go back to the vow again uh, to highlight a little bit more to bring the story forward a little bit like now you've seen a little bit of a cinematic montage but I wanted to kind of bring you back to the story so that you wouldn't be anticipating music video after music video after music video is always like cinematics then suddenly um, which are relevant which I stick together then later we go back to the vows for them to bring you to the next part to kind of follow through what they, uh, they are vows about which comprises of the whole film yeah so at this part is the vow again thank you for being my rock my haven my compass and my forever cheerleader <laughs> I promise to be yours too I promise to choose you and love you no matter what even when I'm angry or upset at you or when you are angry or upset at me and even when you're at your most irritating and singing the Shopee song Number one, I promise to do the housework when you are very tired I I thought all the time Okay, all the time I promise to watch my temper all the time I promise to love and cherish you and only you forever and ever. And ever, two hearts. <laughs> okay, at this point in time, you may be wondering like, oh, why uh, the veiling, the unveiling was done before the veiling, or why is it not like in chronological order? Um, usually, the more logical way is to you know stitch it into a most chronological way. That is the most basic way of uh, forming a video, which is not wrong. Um, it's just when you listen to their narratives, it felt like it wasn't time for certain things. So, not just the music that determines the mood or what is coming first, but also what they are saying that could comprise that moment. So when the narratives wasn't there yet or the music wasn't at the crescendo part where you know like when there's music there is chorus there's verse you know the chorus wasn't ever even reached there yet and um, that moment that, that feeling of not putting it is supposed to for you to to, to yearn as a, as a viewer to really feel like oh I really want to see what's going to happen next like we're just going to show 
the more mild part, the more happy part, and where it comes to the more emotional part, we will highlight when the music hits the part or when the vowels mention it. So overall, that is how we go with the flow. Yeah, so just watch a little bit more. I promise to love you and only you every single day of my life until our children take your esteemed position. But I'll still love you with all my life. Thank you for loving me despite me being imperfect, but we are perfect for each other. I pledge before all our families and friends present today, physically and virtually, to love, cherish and take care of you forever. In I saw you in the perfect light I'll never forget the way you looked at me I could never forget the way you look at me I promise to always be on your side and by your side Whatever challenges life may throw at us, we will deal with as a team I love you, Elvin Chong Kairan. <laughs> All of you and always. Just before the crescendo, uh, there was one crescendo when you watched that part. Then, of course, now I, when I pause just right before another crescendo, um, you notice that. Uh, by the way, good job, Elvin, for uh, and Elma filming for that part when you're in that car because that's when we are not in the moment. Elma uh, was quite creative and showed me that footage for the same day edit cut and I managed to put it in. Of course, I'm definitely going to put it in their final film because that actually represents their, their style. So for couples that are watching, don't be afraid to just share some of your past videos and stuff because that really helps to build your own narrative because we, we weren't in the moment in the past. And if you can bring that part, certain moments, certain memories, certain milestones that you have captured and you want it to be part of the film, do feel free to let us know because that is your film Definitely is with our creative and our cinematics and our own way of telling a story. But if you could input a little bit of your history, your milestones in video form or any other media like photos or videos or sound bites, do feel free to let us know because that actually allows us to have more creative freedom to be able to stitch it into the film. Yeah, so if you notice, uh, wedding is not about just the bride and the groom. Storytelling actually tells us that actually there are other things that are more important. So you'll notice that I actually put the veiling part. Um, if the couples are, or if the bride and the family are really close, really, really, really close, or if they highlighted in our questionnaire uh, that they are really close and they, what they wanted certain moments, then definitely I'm just going to highlight that because I felt like when I was shooting Elma's family, they were really, really close knitted and I felt I really want to have a little small special piece just in the film so that they can remember the moment and not just about the you know all about the posiness and the, and the photo shoot but some moments are really really priceless so the veiling part I felt like it really uh, touches me so I wanted to just put at that special moment of that one part the crescendo of the music uh, of course there are other crescendos along the way in the film and I think that's the beauty of it you get to choose a few highlights in the highlight film where you want to put the chorus of it and it felt like it was time to show that part so that's why the veiling comes later than the unveiling part yep so next crescendo Thank 
you, Daddy and Mommy. Daddy who wake up early every morning and go to work before the sun even rises. And even when I'm so grown up, he's my family over and fetches me to and fro. <laughs> Mommy who make sure I have fruits to eat every night and who, when I was young, even after working, would come back and take care of me and read me bedtime stories. Thank you and don't worry, we will come back to visit often. <laughs> Mami, thank you for coming. She faced many obstacles, but thank you for bringing this naughty, stubborn, bad-tempered boy up. I'm already old and I'm very old. Don't worry about me, but don't worry about me. Don't forget the way you look to me. I could never be the one you look to me. Okay, at this point of time, uh, highlighting the parents and I felt like parents make a huge part of what the wedding is about uh, some parents are, might be more shy uh, and that part we have to kind of play by ear and see whether we should be able to or able to take certain parts but if the parents insist uh, they, they are not comfortable then of course we will kind of shift the narrative a little bit but for that day it was quite okay I think the parents are really open in how we can approach the day um, and I felt like their thank you speech had certain meaning to it and that bring the narrative slightly forward because uh, Alvin mentioned about you know the past where the mom take care of her then uh, I think our, our mom also like both parents are uh, really uh, adore her you can see from the dad's expression it's really really priceless and I felt like if you don't stitch that into it um, without having a narrative, without someone mentioning about it, it's really hard to, for us to stage an emotional piece with just music. Though music makes a huge part of it, but we just felt like it was, she, uh, Elma and Alvin need to mention something before it, uh, it can be placed in the film. Yeah. So now we come to the last section of the film, which is also the last crescendo, uh, which is more most of the dinner part. So yeah, have a look. That's about it. Uh, this is where the dinner crescendo. Then I wanted to just kind of let people relieve that moment again. So we did a little bit of rewind, uh, just to kind of highlight what are the best moments. I wanted to just kind of show like the best moments of it. Of course, the margin, the unveiling, the veiling, the parent moments. To me, the last part defines what I felt like was the best parts. Yeah, that is about it of how we craft the storyline. Um, I hope that I share a little bit more insights of how Heart to Heart actually craft our story. Uh, moving forward 2021, all our couples that have signed with us have received a questionnaire. So that's how we actually understand the family dynamics um, of the family and who is around. And that actually help us, help us tell better stories because that's where me and my wife can actually study. Um, the bio and be able to be more sensitive to situations and be more aware of certain highlights that the couples might be looking for yeah so uh, if you are considering us uh, this is some sort of like an introduction to you uh, do feel free to DM us if you're interested or do email us or 
you know, just give us a message in WhatsApp and just say, hey, um, we are very open, we, we don't bite. Taito maybe bite if you know who is Taito. Um, just let us know. Uh, we, we are open to f- meet you face to face and in Zoom and we would love to be part of your wedding day. So, yep, this marks the end of the podcast and we will see you on the next episode. Bye.